This is Nick with logosbynick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create this shiny text effect using GIMP and the font I'll be using in this tutorial is called Bungasai. It's a free font. I'll have it linked in the description section of the video if you'd like to use this font here. Otherwise whatever font you'd like should work just as well. So we'll go ahead and get started in GIMP. I'm going to open up a new file. I'm going to file new. And I'm just going to do a 1280 by 720. Or you know what? Maybe I'll do a little bigger. I'll do 1920 by 1080. Go ahead and click OK. And the first thing I'm going to do is create this background here that you see. So to do that, I'm going to uh, grab the foreground color and make that uh, the HTML notation 1A, 1A, 1A. Go ahead and click OK. And for the background color, I'll change that to the same thing. Actually, no, you know what? I'll just come down here and make this like a lighter shade of gray, maybe like 4.6 or 4.4.4, or four, something like that. That's pretty good. And what I'll do now is I'll come over to the uh, the blend tool. And for the gradient from this drop down, I want to choose foreground to background. For the shape, I want to choose uh, radial. And then I just want to click and drag from the center to the outside, just like that, to create our little background there. And what we'll do next is we will create the text. So uh, I'm going to come over to the text tool and click on the canvas and just type in GIMP or you could type whatever you'd like. Uh, I'm just going to change the, the uh, color of this to white. To choose our font, you come over here to this little icon where it shows the, 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 uh, the two letter A's and you can choose your font. Go ahead and find whatever font you'd like. Again, the one I'm using is Bungasai. And the color, I'm just going to make that white for now. And the size, you can change the size here relative to the image. I'm going to make this a little bigger. That's pretty good right there. I'm just going to go to the Move tool and put this towards the center of the page. And then what I want to do is right-click on this text layer that says GIMP and go to Alpha to Selection. And then go ahead and delete that layer. Where it says Delete this layer, go ahead and click that button. And now I'm going to put a new layer in there. And I'm going to title this the layer name. I'm just going to name this text. Go ahead and click OK. And what I want to do now is uh, create the text that's in like a, a gradient blue like this. So I'm going to create the uh, gradient colors. I'm going to click on the foreground color and make this to like a, a shade of light blue, something like that. The exact numbers I'm using is 00D2FF. If you'd like to use those same values, go ahead and click OK. And for the background, I'll make this a darker shade of blue. Maybe something like, uh, like this. That should work. Um, for that, I'm using 1A2249. Go ahead and click OK. And again, we'll just go back to the Blend tool. And I want to choose uh, foreground to background. And for the shape now, I want to change this to linear. And just go ahead and click and drag to see how it works, just like that. Now, what, what happened here is it's taking the dark shade and going to the light shade, which I don't want. I want the opposite of that. So I'm going to I'm going to undo that by going to Edit Undo, or you could just hit Control Z, which I think is a lot easier. And I'll start it from the bottom going up instead of from the top going down. So I'll start it down here, bring this line straight up. I'm going to hold control on the keyboard to lock it onto the vertical axis, just like that. And again, we got a lot, some of the dark blue here in the lower portions of the text. I want it going through like all of the bottom portion of the text. So I'm going to undo that again. I'm going to start this line maybe up here. Do that. And I'd say that's, that's pretty good right there. I'll leave that just as it is. So um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put a uh, like um, like a shiny chrome I guess you can call it like a bevel going around the outside edges of the text so to do that what I'm gonna do is go to select grow and I want to grow the selection by three pixels go ahead and click OK and you'll notice the selection around the text got a little bigger and what I'll do now is um, I'm going to stay in the blend tool. I'm just going to change the uh, preset here. I'm going to look for a preset called crown molding, which is this one right here. And I'm going to create a new layer by clicking the button that says create a new layer and add it to the image. Click on that. And I'll just name this layer chrome. Click OK. And I'm just going to click and drag this layer beneath the text layer. And then again, just grab the blend tool, hold control, lock it up to the vertical axis, and it creates that chrome bevel in there. And the next step would be to put a little bit of a drop shadow beneath that. So to do that, I'm going to create, uh, I'm going to click on this top layer and create a new layer uh, where it says create a new layer and add it to the image. Go ahead and click that. Uh, I'm going to title this one drop shadow. And 
And I'm going to change the foreground color to black. The code for that is zero, zero, six zeros right there, so zero, zero, zero. Click OK, and then go to Edit, Fill with Foreground Color. And now we'll go to Select None. And what I want to do now is go to the Move tool and click on this text. I'm just going to click and drag it down a little bit and then hold Control to lock it onto the vertical axis. I want to move this, tech, uh, uh, this black text down maybe about that much. And then once we've done that, we could take this drop shadow layer and uh, click and drag it beneath the chrome layer. And then we'll go to filters, blur, uh, Gaussian blur. And I'm going to use 10 for the horizontal and the vertical, 10 pixels. Go ahead and click OK. And that's just going to blur that a little bit. And if you'd want, you could, if you want, you could take the opacity of that and drop that down a little bit um, to make it. Uh, you know, fit how you think looks good. I think that looks good right about there, maybe at like 60%, maybe a little more, 70. That works pretty well. And the next step would be to create this little uh, reflection of light going through here. So to do that, I'm going to, um, where it says text, I'm going to click on that layer, right click that and go to uh, alpha to selection, then create a new layer on top of it. And I'm going to name this one, uh, I'll just name this one Shine. Click OK. And I want to change the background color, switch that back to white, which is FFF, six Fs. Go ahead and click OK. Then go to Edit, Fill with Background Color or BG Color. And it's going to fill that all in with white. And now what I'll do is I'll go to Select None. And I'll grab the uh, Ellipse tool and I'll click and drag to create an ellipse going over the shape right there. And you could take these uh, these corners here, these corner boxes, and just adjust this accordingly. If you notice, where the white text intersects with the, uh, this, the, uh, the ellipse, that's where that little shine is going to be. So that's something to keep in mind while you're adjusting this ellipse. So just try to envision where you want that shine to be. Right there, I think that, that looks pretty good for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click Enter to create a selection. And then I'll go to Select, Invert, and then I'll just press Delete on the keyboard if you're using Windows or Linux. If you're using Mac, just go to Edit, Clear. And now what we can do is we can go to Select, None. And what I wanna do is add a uh, like a transparency gradient to this and drop the opacity a little bit to create that shine effect. So to do that, I'm gonna right click on that shine layer and go to add layer mask. And I wanna choose white full opacity. Go ahead and click okay. And we should have our foreground and background set at black and white, so we're all set there. And what I wanna do is go back to the blend tool and set our preset up here back to uh, foreground to background. Uh, shape linear and then just uh, click and drag to see how that works. Uh, I'm gonna control Z to undo that. I'm gonna start down here actually and hold control and move this straight up like that. That gives you an idea. Uh, maybe, uh, you know what, that looks pretty good. I'll leave that as it is. And I'll just take the opacity of that and bring that down a little bit as well. And one last final step would be to create like a little bit of a shine, like almost like a, sh a shimmer effect going on certain parts of the uh, text right here. To do that, I'm just going to grab the paintbrush and let me just flip these two colors. Let me flip the foreground and the background with that little arrow key right there. And for the brush, I'm going to use the softest brush there is, which is this Hardness 025. And I'm just going to zoom in by holding control and rolling up the mouse wheel. And I want to find parts of the image where it's at, at its brightest, like the uh, like right here. It looks like the shine is happening right there. I'm going to go ahead and click. And you know what? First, we're going to create a new layer. And I'll name this one. Um, I'll just name this one Shine 2. Go ahead and click OK. And now we'll go ahead and just put a little blot, a little blotch right there with the paintbrush. And I'll put another one maybe like uh, right here. And then another one up here. And maybe one more right here. And what we could do now is we can go to the drop down up here, this mode, and change the mode to overlay. And now I'm just going to hold control and roll down the mouse wheel to zoom back out to uh, 100%. And as you can see, we've finished creating our shiny text using GIMP. So that's how you can do that. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.